Hey, it's Michael from Better Marks in Maths, and if you don't really like fractions or you don't really understand them, then it could be because you don't really understand what the numbers in a fraction really mean. And once you do, you'll feel a lot better about fractions and you won't be as intimidated by them when you have to work with them or do calculations with them in maths. And so in this first example, 1 over 2 is the fraction 1 half and I want to colour in 1 half of this shape. So the 2 is telling me that I need to divide the shape into two equal parts. Now it doesn't matter how you do it but a really simple way is usually the best way and I'm just going to draw a line down the middle like that and there's my two equal parts and this 1 is telling me that I need to colour in one of those parts. So there I've shaded in one out of two equal parts or one half of that shape. In example two, I want to shade in two thirds of this pizza. And the three means I've got to divide it into three equal parts. And you might be thinking, well, I could probably do it like this, and there's three equal parts. The thing about this, doing it this way, is that it's really hard to tell whether the three parts are equal. So there's a better way of doing this, which you might also have thought of, and that's to do cut it or divide it into three equal parts like this. And the two means that you need to, or I need to color in two of those parts, like such, and I'm going to point to them, and now I have colored in two out of three equal parts. In example three, I want one third of these six grapes and the three is telling me that I need to divide them into three equal groups and that would mean I would need to put two grapes in each group and like such and the one is telling me that I want one of those groups so I could shade in the first group like this it wouldn't really matter which group I shade in any of the groups on their own would be one group out of three groups or one third of the grapes and so there's my one third and once again the number on the bottom is telling me how many equal parts or how many equal groups in this case to divide the grapes into and the one's telling me how many of those groups that I want. In example four I want three quarters of these eight CDs so the four is telling me I need to divide them into four equal groups and that would mean again there would be two in each group like such and the three would be telling me that I need to shade in three of those groups and point to it like that and to be really clear I could do this to it as well I could circle those three groups like that and so I have colored in or circled three out of four equal groups or three quarters of those CDs. So that's what the numbers in a simple fraction mean and a simple fraction is a fraction like any of these four fractions where the top number is less than the bottom number. Three is less than four, one is less than three, one is less than two, and two is less than three. So they're all simple fractions. And so that's about it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.